Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort is strongly denying any connection with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. A British newspaper reports Manafort had secret meetings with Assange before his website published emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign. WikiLeaks is also denying the story. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, is special counsel Robert Mueller zeroing in on this idea that someone from the Trump campaign interacted with WikiLeaks? That's exactly right. And overnight, we are getting new details about exactly how and why the special counsel is zeroing in on this question of whether any of the president's associates had advanced knowledge of WikiLeaks' plan to release hacked emails during the 2016 campaign. Specifically, the special counsel is looking at these email exchanges between Trump campaign advisor Roger Stone and his associate Jerome Corsi, apparently seeking to try to meet up with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange in an effort to get emails related to Clinton. Now, the special counsel is is also looking at whether or not these guys coordinated with WikiLeaks to release a trove of emails following that infamous Access Hollywood tape in an effort to help the president out with that situation. Now, Corsi and Stone, they have both adamantly denied any advanced knowledge of these WikiLeaks releases. These emails, of course, which destabilized the campaign while it was going on. Paula, there's a lot of twists and turns. Stepping back, <laughs> what does this suggest about the scope of the Mueller investigation and where he is? Well, John, we never know where the special counsel is. This is a man who is full of secrets and surprises. And I think a lot of folks trying to read the tea leaves based on what happened with Manafort, you really just don't know because he keeps things so close to the vest. What we do know is right now he has a problem that he is grappling with, which is many of the witnesses that he needs to cooperate with him, they have an incentive not to cooperate because what's so unique about this case is there is a possibility of a presidential pardon. And while yesterday the White House dismissed any talk of pardons, we know that, for example, Paul Manafort's attorneys talk with the president's attorneys. That's completely legal, but it also sets him up very well for a pardon if he doesn't want to cooperate. John? All right, Paula Reed, thanks so much, Paula. Paula Wright, you remind us that Mueller's not one, but a thousand steps ahead of us, right? Yeah. Never ceases <laughs> to surprise.